Let's talk about the seven hermetic principles, or the seven laws given to us by Hermes Trismegistus, also known as the god Thoth, or Tehuti in Egypt. His teachings are as follows. Let's start with the principle of mentalism. Everything is mind. Everything in the universe is made of pure energy and information, which is all thought, which can only temporarily appear as physical due to the principle of vibration, and that is that nothing rests, everything moves, everything that is physical vibrates. The principle of rhythm says that everything flows in and out, and it has tides. All things rise and they fall. The pendulum swing manifests everything. The principle of polarity states that everything has poles and its pair of opposites. Like and unlike are the same. Opposites are identical in nature but different in degree. Extremes can be met. All truths are but half-truths. And all paradoxes may be reconciled. The principle of gender manifests on all planes as well. Everything has masculine and feminine principles. The principle of correspondence tells us that everything above corresponds to everything below, and everything within corresponds to that which is without. The principle of cause and effect tells us that every effect has its cause, and every cause has its effect. Everything happens according to law, and nothing escapes law. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. Natural laws will never change, only laws made by men will change. And that's because change itself is a natural law. Evolution is the perpetual ascension and descension of energy. This is why you can run from the law, but you cannot run away from the energy. Nothing is ever exactly the same. Things can differ in size, but have the same complexity. And that's what fractal harmonics is about. Quantum entanglement should be called qualitative harmony. Quantum mechanics is not a complete theory. The word quanta means how much, referring to the number of atoms in the body and the number of electrons in the atom. But there are no particles being measured. There is only energy being measured by the rate of its spin. The energy itself is a single motion with an infinite supply of itself, because it is the unmanifest source of all creation, zero-point energy. The reason why it's called zero-point energy is because it exists in absolute zero degrees, zero oxygen in the air, no magnetic fields are present there will still be a tremendous seething cauldron of energy. This is called zero vector resultant. When there is zero magnetic field detected, therefore no loss of energy or dimensional force detected, and yet potent energy remains. And it remains present because it has not lost its inertia. Magnetic repulsion is pure impotency because it's the loss of potential and inertia. It, that, that's wild. It's an infinite source of nothingness, but yet still filled with energy. And it is infinite. And that's what we are. We are infinite beings.